Chomper? There are rocks! There are! There are! Mm. Me no look! <laughs> yeah. oh. Well? What are you waiting for? it the other day. Pretty neat, huh? I can't believe Ruby, Spike, and Sarah aren't here to see this. Yeah, me no believe they go to mud pools and not come with us. Come on, I saw them go this way. That sounds like hip. Ugh, me go now, me no like hip. No, Petrie, this way. Hey, wait for me. Hey, guys, who's Hip? And why are we running from him? Hip and his friends Mutt and Nod are the biggest troublemakers in the Great Valley. They can sometimes be very mean. They can, they can. They're in here somewhere. I hear them. You do not want to step on any of the eggs. Eggs? What eggs? All I see is the day in front of us. All I see is the day in front of us. Burning bright with a newborn sun. Come fall. Uh, guys, those aren't just eggs. They're fast spider eggs. Fast biters? They're sharp tooth eggs? Smash them! You can't do that! Don't touch no, them! No, no, no! We found the eggs, so we get to decide what to do with them. <laughs> what makes you think that what's in those eggs won't no. eat you? They haven't hatched yet. But we can't let sharp teeth eggs hatch near the Great Valley. It's too dangerous. Then let's move them as far from the Great Valley as we can. But we cannot take the eggs away from their mommy. No, no, no. What if eggs' mommy come looking for them? I know. We can get the fast spider mom to run after Petrie here, then the rest of us will scram. <laughs> <laughs> That is a very mean idea, Hip. It is. It is. What? He can fly, can't he? Wait. Hip might be onto something. Oh, no. I am? Listen. A mom would always follow her eggs, right? So we can use the eggs to lure the mom away from the Great Valley. Make sharp tooth chase us? On purpose? You gotta be crazy! <laughs> <laughs> you said it, Hip! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, crazy! <laughs> <laughs> that sharp tooth mom's gonna chase you wherever you take those eggs! That's the idea. Sounds like a bad idea to me. But you guys have fun! <laughs> <laughs> if we're gonna move these eggs, we need everyone's help. If you do not help, these sharp teeth could hurt someone in the Great Valley. Maybe even you. Do you really want to take that chance? Ah, uh, where's my egg? to hide the eggs in a place just like this. There's a cave in that big mountain that should work. 
Okay, we'll take the eggs there. But that's really far away. That is probably a good thing. No! <laughs> it, 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 it moved! Is the egg hatching now? Not yet, but we don't have much time before they do. Shark tooth! It's probably the mom coming for her eggs. She sounds like she's really close. Then we better get going. Come on. She was close! Is that her? Is that the egg's mom? That's the mom, all right. And she wants her eggs back! Okay. Hip and I will distract her. The rest of you, head for the lake past the trees. We'll meet there. Bah, 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 bah. Come on, Hip, let's go! Over here! Look what we've got! Go! Run for the trees! We all hurry now! No time to look back! Follow me! And do not let go of the eggs! It would be very, very bad if they break. Well, I'm not sure. This idea's a good one. What if that fast spider mom were to catch us? Why don't we leave the eggs right here and run? We are too close to home to leave them here. If they should hatch, they might find a way back to the Scared? You scared much? Well, maybe. I mean, no, I'm not scared. Right. Then let's move these eggs. I hope Littlefoot and Hip are okay. Great idea. We're trapped. Now what are we gonna do? I'll think of something. Yeah, just like you thought we should run down this canyon. Be quiet, Hip. I need to think. Here's a thought. We dump the egg and get out of here. We're not leaving the egg. Oh, yeah? Distracted her. Now's my chance. No! Stay away! No! Stay away! No! 
same to you. <gasps> what that? You made it! You did! You did! It just took a little teamwork. That's all. Well, we better keep this team moving. If we break into three groups, she'll have a harder time following us. It's someone else's turn to be sharp tooth bait. I'm through. Head for the canyon, past the gray meadow. Uh, you guys can lure the sharp tooth next. Good idea. We will see you at the canyon. Good luck, Chomper. Don't worry, little foot. We'll be okay. I know how sharp teeth think. It'll be fastest if we go straight across the water. Ready, Mutt? Oh. <laughs> It'll be okay. We just need something for the egg to float on. Uh, oh, we'll need something for me to float on, too. What do you mean? I'm, uh, not a very good swimmer. That's okay. I'm not the best swimmer either. Now, let's see. That should work. <laughs> Don't worry, Mutt. If you hold on to the edge and kick, you'll be okay. Like me, see? Hey, Chomper! Uh, wait for me! I'm coming! <laughs> Oh no, the egg! I, I got it! Good job, partner! Yeah! <laughs> Good job! <laughs> Woo! We made it! Now we have to make sure the fast fighter mom follows us! Maybe she can't swim either. I'll get her attention. move sharp tooth eggs it's crazy it's the right thing to do and it's helping the great valley ha we wouldn't be in this mess if you'd have listened to me instead of that sharp tooth why would i listen to you chomper might be a sharp tooth but he's my friend uh little foot and he's a lot nicer than you all you ever think about is what you want to do little foot the egg huh
carry this egg alone, could I? in there. And they don't look that scary. <laughs> Most babies don't. Uh... <laughs> now they have their mommy. They do, they do. Maybe we did do the right thing. Yup. And now no one in the Great Valley has to worry about them. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Adventuring, adventuring, adventuring. Glad we went adventuring and moved those sharp tooth eggs. To see them hatch was such a treat. Who would have thought they look so sweet? Just remember what they eat. Come on, let's go. We did what we 
we set out to do and help protect the valley too. There is no doubt we all helped out. I glad we went adventuring so we could all do the right thing and move those sharp tooth eggs away. We're glad we went adventuring. Course. Yeah, sure. And to think, you guys wanted to just get rid of them. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Threehorn? Want me to help pull it out for you? Huh. You think those little arms would do a better job than my horn? Ha! Not likely. My arms aren't little. Threehorn said my arms are little. Hmm, maybe. But hands are handier than horns, if you ask me. Watch. Horns might be good for some things, but not for everything. Yeah! My turn! Ah! Looks like my dad's right. Your little arms aren't good for much, are they? Oh, yes, they are. Watch this. All I see is the day in front of us. All I see is the day in front of us. Burning bright with a newborn sun. Come follow me. Hills to climb and valleys to roam. Streams to follow all the way home. To the land before time. Shakes, but I'm sure your little arms couldn't start one. My arms aren't little. Come on, you guys. Let's make sure nobody's hurt. Earth shake not so bad. Only a few rocks and trees fall down. I am just glad the earth shake did not hurt anyone. I am. I am. Huh? Hey. 
Look at that. The watering place is full of nothing. No water here. Nope, no, nope, no. Nope. No wonder the pond's empty. The fast water has dried up too. If you ask me, I think the earth shake made the water go away. The big pond going dry is bad for everyone. All right, please, please. Calm down, everyone. This is not as bad as the time all the water dried up. We still have other water besides the big pond. There may be hardships, but we've overcome bigger challenges. Can I say something, Grandpa? Well, of course, Littlefoot. Everyone is welcome to speak here. First there was an earth shake, and then the big pond dried up. What if the earth shake made the water disappear? The water is gone now. What does it matter? Because if the earth shake did make the water go away, maybe we can do something to get it back again. Or maybe not. Someday, Littlefoot, you'll learn the difference between what you can change and what you can't. Yes! 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 Everyone seems to agree with you, Mr. Threehorn. So, for now, we'll just make the most of the water we still have. Spread the word. Don't take water for granted. And remember, it's important that we all work together. I still think we should do something. Like what? Well, we could follow where the fast water used to flow and see what could be done. How about it? I will go. Yup, yup, yup. <laughs> Me go too. I'll go with my arms that aren't little. The fast water had to come from somewhere, so we might as well see where that somewhere is. All right, let's go already. It is very strange to be here without the fast water. It is. It. Ah! Hey! Somebody help! <gasps> hey! Hang on, Ducky! Here! Grab on! <sighs> Your arms are too short! <sighs> Here, I'll do it. <laughs> and thank you for trying, Chomper. <laughs> so this is where our water went. All those rocks and trees are blocking the fast water. You think the earth shake shook down all those rocks and trees? Yep, and we'll need to clear them away to get the fast water flowing again. Well, that's easy. We can smash it down. I don't know, Sarah. We don't even know how deep the water is. Well, I am a swimmer. I can go under the water and look. Good idea, Ducky. But be careful. <laughs> <gasps> Say, what's that swimming thing that isn't Ducky? Is that a... is that a sharply teeth swimming sharp tooth? I can't tell. that laugh. 
You scared us, Mo. <gasps> Sorry. Mo was just hurrying to say hello. Mo is the friend we made after the Great Valley was flooded. Mo, this is Chomper and Ruby. Hi. Hello, Mo. Hello. Any friend of Littlefoot is a mud brother of mine. So how did you get here from the big water, Mo? Mo see new land water and hoped it would lead to mud brothers. So Mo swam up it, and then Mo find you. <laughs> oh dear! The fast water must be backed up all the way to the big water. Walker friends need water. More help. See that big pile of stuff? It's blocking the fast water. Yeah, but once we smash it, whoosh, all the water will run down into the valley. Whoosh. Mo not like that. Mo's right. If all the water goes away at once, he'll be trapped in the Great Valley. So will other big water swimmers. Then what are we gonna do? We have to clear just enough stuff to get the water flowing slowly. Then Mo will have enough time to get back to the big water. Littlefoot smart. Those little arms of yours ready to work, Chomper? Yes, they are. This job is for you. I know, I know. My arms are too little. Okay, come on, Chomper. We can do this together. <laughs> Littlefoot needs somebody strong, like me. 
Come on! We can do it! <laughs> Chopper! <laughs> Mo, help! Me too! Talk that way. Stay here and rest till you feel better. Something? Spike, this is no time for a drink. No! Spike wants us to look at something. <laughs> so there's water coming out of a log. So what? <laughs> I do, I do! Spike is saying the water dripping out of the log is coming from the other side. <laughs> oh, so we can use the log to make the water come out slowly. <laughs> Kyle say it's slow. The water's just trickling out. I think there's a rock inside the log that's blocking the water. Can you reach it, Ruby? Huh? The only way I'll know if I can is if I try. Uh, uh, uh. You can reach it, Ruby. Your arms are the biggest and longestest. Hey, Ruby! I see the rock that's blocking up the log. I see it too. Ugh, but my arms aren't long enough to reach it. But you could reach it from here. Uh, maybe I could reach it if I could reach in there, but that hole's too small for my big arm to fit. Well, my arm can fit. Uh, we better get off the barrier. It doesn't seem too stable. Hold on! I think I can reach it. Chomper. Guess those little arms are good for something after all. <laughs> good job, Chomper. Wow. 
want to go away. Mo must go. You're right, Mo. We have to go too. We're going to miss you. Oh, do not be sad, little foot. Remember, we had much fun today. Remembering, remembering is a kind of a helpful thing to hold on to a happy day so those glad thoughts won't go away. Times will always hold dear. Remembering makes reappear. So if Tonight is a night for celebration. The fast water has returned, and we have these young ones to thank. It was Chomper who really helped. Without his arms, we never would have gotten the job done. The young ones have set a fine example. It's a lesson we could all learn. Well, uh, it's like I always say, if you want things to get better, uh, you better get going. <laughs> I never thought I'd see him again. There was all sorts of trouble the last time he was here. Well, I hope he doesn't bring any bad luck with him this time. Good game, guys! Yeah, next time Spike's on our team. <laughs> I do not think so. Oh, no, no, no. Guys! Guys! <laughs> He's coming back! Who's coming back? Where have you guys been? Doc's coming back. Doc? Eh? You mean the lone dinosaur? All I see is the day in front of us. All I see is the day in front of us. Burning bright with a newborn sun. Come fall Ago. Everyone thought the Great Valley's good luck had run out because Saurus Rock had been damaged. I tried to bring our luck back by taking a tooth from a dead sharp tooth. The only problem was the sharp tooth wasn't dead. Ah! <laughs> ah! 
Cupid tried to save me. But he had to fight two shark teeth. That's when Doc showed up. anyone again. Thanks to Grandpa and Doc, the Lone Dinosaur. How exciting! Now I know why everyone's so excited. So where did the Lone Dinosaur go? Where's he been? He never stay in one place very long. And he is always alone. He is, he is. Well, yeah, that's why he's the Lone Dinosaur. But wherever there's trouble with sharp teeth, he'll be there. You said trouble, right? Yep, he always seems to know when sharp teeth are coming here. Uh, you don't think? Don't worry, Chomper. I think he'd understand about you. I don't know. Um. How is Doc supposed to know Chomper's different? I'll tell him. Doc doesn't seem like the kind of long neck who likes to be told. He's after me, isn't he? Of course not. Could be. He'd never pick on a kid. But he'd always pick on a sharp tooth. Whatever's going to happen won't happen until it does. So let's all just get a good night's sleep so we're all well rested. Okay. You're right, Ruby. Good night, everyone. Good, good night, night, everybody. Don't worry, it'll be okay. If Doc's as good as they think, I'm sure he'll think you're good too. Huh? <sighs> Don't worry, it'll be okay. Don't worry, it'll be okay. scary, Chomper, but it was a sleep story, and now you're awake, so you shouldn't worry. Unless you fall asleep again. Or unless he's really coming after me! <gasps> Hi, everybody. Chomper had a scary sleep story that the lone dinosaur was coming to get him. So did I. Really? Was he trying to crush you with his tail? Um, no. He was trying to crush you. <gasps> huh? He's coming! He's coming for me! <gasps> Could be. No, he's not, Sarah. He only come for sharp teeth in past. See? So what do you want to do? Try to hide Chomper until Doc's gone? That's a great idea! Then that's what we should do. Okay, I'll try to distract Doc while you guys hide Chomper. So Doc's big enough that I'd see him coming, right? Oh, yes. <laughs> he is very, very big. Nick is 
long and limber, his shoulders broad and lean. His eye be high as the morning sky, and his vision it be keen. He wanders strong and silent across the valley floor, and everybody calls him the Lone Dinosaur. Dinosaur. Kid, how have you been? Great! Watch, I've learned to whip my tail just like you! You, uh, might want to work on that a little more. I will! Maybe you can teach me more tricks while you're back! Sure, kid. By the way, have you seen a long neck named Dara around? No. Who's Dara? Uh, she's my lady friend. Huh? Lady friend. Yep, she's the prettiest long neck these tired eyes have ever seen. I remember the first time I saw her. Her big blue eyes sparkled brighter than the big water itself. She understands my need to roam and has been my traveling partner for a while now. A lonely long neck couldn't ask for much more. But how can you have a partner? You're supposed to be out there alone. Well, I was for a long time. Right, and that's why you were able to keep an eye out for any sharp teeth causing trouble. Just the same, kid. You care to help me find Dara? She's a stranger to these here parts. Let's hope she hasn't run into any trouble. <laughs> but Doc, if you're busy spending time with Dara, how are you going to have time to protect all the other leaf eaters? Hmm. She said she'd meet me here. You can't be the lone dinosaur if you're not alone anymore. Still no sign of Dara. Best we keep looking. For something. He's coming for me. Aha! Uh -huh. I was right all along. Ah! Uh, uh, they coming this way! He's gonna find me! Littlefoot will not let Doc hurt you. Oh, no, no, no. Littlefoot's probably too little to stop Doc. Right. That's why we better find a place to hide Chomper. I really don't think she's here. Maybe she decided not to come. Hmm. She said she'd meet me here. So unless there's a problem, that's just what she'll do. He's even bigger than he was in my scary sleep story. And that's why we have to hide you. Now, where would Doc not think to look for a small little sharp tooth? <gasps> of course! The rocks! Quick, everyone gather around Chomper and we'll all move together. Okay, everyone be very quiet. Chomper's life is depending on it. It is! Yes! Shh! Oops. What 
was that? Uh... Minor earth shake? Been through enough of those. Let's keep looking. Okay, what is it? Will we all fit? Oh, good thing me family not home today. Your good idea was really a good idea, Petrie. It was, it was. <laughs> Phew! I can finally calm down. We'll see. This way up high. Doc not find us here. Not find who where. <laughs> you found me. You are supposed to keep Doc away. I know, but you promised. I'm sorry, Chomper, but it's going to be okay. Doc's not looking for you. He's looking for his lady friend, Dara. Right, Doc? <sighs> Doc? I can't believe you're friends with a sharp tooth. What do you mean? I mean, there's no use being friends with him. You're just gonna have to fight him someday. No, I'm not. Chomper's my friend and always will be. Yeah! And I'll never fight my friends. Yeah, of course he wouldn't. Neat trick teaching him to talk. Oh, he learned it all on his own. See? He is different. He is, he is. <gasps> Maybe I can even use my snuffer to help you find your friend. Hmm. <laughs> That'll be the day. What will? The day I ever accept help from a sharp tooth. But I'm telling you, Chomper's different. I ain't never had a good experience with a sharp tooth, and I don't reckon I'll start having one now. Let's go, little foot. No. <laughs> I'm not helping you anymore. Have it your way, kid. You know, I still think I could use my sniffer to help. That would show, Doc. Me want to help? Oh, me too. <laughs> what do you say, little foot? Just because you won't help Doc doesn't mean you shouldn't help Dara. You're right, Ruby. Come on, Chomper. Let's go find Dara. <coughs> you can do it, Chomper. You can. You can. Ugh. Not with a nose full of mud. Swamp is full of sneaky mud spots. I hope Doc's friend is okay. Me too. Then come on, we gotta find her. The smell's stronger this way. <laughs> She's gotta be here somewhere. But we've looked everywhere. Oh no! Look! Ugh. Ugh. Help! Please! Ugh. Little ones, 
Please, you must find my friend Doc to help me get out. Dora! You know me? But how? We'll never find Doc in time. We have to get you out of there now. But Dara too big. How we help her? Uh, there. We can use that tree to pull her out. All we have to do is bend it down to her. Great idea. We're coming, Dara. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. tree so we can get you out. A cute, helpful sharp tooth. Why, as I live and breathe. I can't reach her. Everyone slide forward a little. Why, he risked his little life to save me. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. What for? I was the one who was wrong, kid. You are different. I hope you can find it in you to give an old long neck another chance. Well, sure. Thanks, Doc. Doc, why were you and Dara coming to the Great Valley? Well, I don't really have any kin of my own, so I wanted Dara to meet Littlefoot and his grandma and grandpa. Which reminds me, where is Littlefoot? Over there. Excuse me. You feel like talking? Sure. I'm sorry I said all those things before. It was disrespectful. It was the right thing to do, kid. Huh? No one's ever really told me when I was wrong before, Littlefoot. Do you promise to keep doing it? Um, sure, Doc. Then we're good. Let's join the rest and I'll show you how to really do that tail whip. You taught me, your friend, the sharp tooth's new friend. <laughs> 